Hey guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Sam and in this video, I've got a big read aloud haul for you and kind of some logic games. Um, I'm just gonna call them logic games. I'm not sure what else, what other category they could possibly fit into. So we're gonna call them logic games. So if you're interested, keep watching, let's get started. So we are gonna start with the games that I have. Um, and the reason I got these was actually because I thought, I thought that I might need them during this, when we're doing homeschool and we start getting into the individual subjects because I do need to dedicate a little more time this year to my preschooler. And sometimes they're both like trying to get my attention to help them right then and there and I'm going back and forth. Um, so I thought maybe this would be helpful in terms of them having something else to do that they can do by themselves so I can help the other one and then be able to switch, that sort of a thing. Um, so far that I haven't really added these into our homeschool day, but we still use them during quiet time. Um, if maybe we are doing a lighter day on school, but I want to make sure we're doing something that's... Uh, where they're thinking a little bit, that sort of a thing. Uh, this is kind of what this is for. So let's start actually with these. I think you've probably seen these at some point, either in the store or on Amazon or something, but these Guess in 10 games, they're like a, it's like a trivia card game. And um, we have really enjoyed them so far. My husband and I <laughs> have really uh, been having fun doing them. So this is kind of what it looks like. And you have to guess in 10, basically, whatever the word is at the top. So there's buzzwords and clues and facts. And I find that it's sometimes harder to be the person, depending on which box we're doing here, it's sometimes harder to be the person that is giving the clues because sometimes they will ask you a question and you have to really think about it. <laughs> That's been the case with the geography ones. Um, but we have the space one. My son is, my oldest son, who is six, has really been enjoying this. Um, I mean, like, a lot. He knows, he knows everything <laughs> there is to know about space. We also have the United States of America one. We really haven't gone into this one yet. Um, we are doing world geography this year, but I just went ahead. It was on sale, gosh. I think during Prime Day or something, or around Prime Day. Um, so we got that one. This one has two in it. It's the Animal Planet and Countries of the World. This one I got specifically because we are doing World Geography. And one of the things that we're doing when we cover each continent, there's also we learn about like six different animals from that um, continent. So like we just wrapped up Australia and like, the South Pacific. So we've learned all about, uh, we, what did we do? We did, um, kangaroo and koala and, um, platypus, Tasmanian devil. I can't remember what the other ones were. Uh, but anyway, we had a, a lot of fun learning about the different animals. So I thought my kids might like this one. Now, if you get the one that has two in it like this, you are actually supposed to play them together. And there's like a dice and on three sides, it's the orange. And then on the other three sides of the dice is the green. And you're supposed to actually play both of them together. We just pull out one and do and do that. Um, doing them together is, is it's too hard. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so guess in 10. That's, that's a lot of fun. Like I said, my husband and I have really been enjoying that. Um, this one from Learning Resources space sudoku again my oldest if you've watched any of my videos then you know my oldest is obsessed with space but this one's pretty cool the top i mean this is the lid it just came right off and it's magnetic so you have the board and the little pieces like like stick on it so you don't i mean i think if i really tilt this up they might slide down but they do stick which is really nice one side is the numbers if you want to play the number version or if you like using 
the little space monsters, there is a, a monster side too. So my oldest has been really liking that. He's very, he's just, he's just really smart, okay? There's no other way to say that politely. He's just really smart <laughs> and he's just very logical. He just, he picks up things really quick. And so he's been really enjoying like the puzzle aspect of that. And to continue with that sort of a thing, um, this game Canoodle, I think there are other sort of versions of this. Um, this game is really cool. It's another one of those puzzle type games. So there's all these little pieces and um, basically there's this book and it'll give you like a layout of how to lay them down and there'll be pieces missing and then you have to fill them in basically if that hopefully that makes sense it's a little puzzle game brain teaser um, and then there's another version where you flip it over and here's the back and you actually build it up like a pyramid and that's like the expert levels and my son has really been enjoying that um, so he has really enjoyed doing the 3d version where it kind of makes a pyramid and he and I will actually sit down and it's tricky for me but we do it together like we we both think the same way <laughs> and so we're able to figure it out together and that has actually been um, a lot of fun to do the other thing I got was um, I think we all maybe remember the geo boards from when we were kids maybe at school um, but there's like little cards in here and you know the rubber bands and they make the design so I thought this would be good especially for my preschooler too she can't quite do the other things yet um, but also some of the more intricate ones um, my oldest has enjoyed as well and then the other thing I got from learning resources as well was this pixel art one and this has been a lot of fun too there's different kind of levels to this um, you can just obviously make whatever design you want but some of them you have to copy the picture versus other ones um, it's like the color has a certain number and then you have to figure out the number uh, you know the coordinates and all that and figure that out so it's not the picture that you copy and then this one you know it gets even more complicated so depending on your level of oh, I get in, I got interrupted by one of my kids um, so anyway, depending on kind of the level at which you can follow directions and be comfortable with doing the grid, you know, um, like my son, my oldest, like he's kind of used to this because he and I do play Battleship together and that took some figuring out, okay, you know, you follow the letter and then you follow the number, you know, figuring out the whole grid, the coordinates and the grid and all that. So there is, it does get more complicated the answers are in the back um but how it's done i mean it's very cool so i mean my youngest it's hard enough for her to just copy a picture she has to like really count okay these ones are supposed to be blank and then we put pink here or whatever um so depending on your kid's age level uh you know it that it works out that you can do it at different levels so this next part is the book haul part, the read aloud part. Um, I did a book haul a while back, um, but it wasn't just read alouds. This this one, this haul, however, is just read alouds, just chapter books. Um, read alouds are kind of new to us this year. I have always read to my kids, but it's always been picture books or uh, you know things like that, little kid books. But this year. We are doing chapter books, coming back to the same book, having to remember what we read the night before, all that stuff. Uh, it's been a learning curve, but we've been really enjoying it. We're, you know, several books in at this point, and I just wanted to have a variety, basically, um, because I do my best to let my kids pick as much as as much as I can. Um, I do sometimes pick out, you know, two or three based on what we're learning or whatever. And then they pick from that they do have to agree all that stuff sibling sibling agreement and all that but um we have really been enjoying what we have read so far i think i will do at some point maybe like halfway through the year like 
what we've read and how my kids have liked it. Basically, like, book reviews, basically. Um, spoilers for parents, any content, that sort of thing. Um, so I think... I think that'll be something I do in the future. But for now, let's get into the read-alouds that I got. So this first one, we actually are about halfway through. This is the second Wild Robot, um, The Wild Robot Escapes. We read the first one. We devoured it. My son and daughter are both looking forward to the movie that is coming out in like a month. Okay, other books that I have recently got. Uh, we did get... You can't even see it, but the, it's right at the top of the screen. The Magic Treehouse box set, but it's only, I think it's 1 through 28. So I did pick up a few of uh, the ones that come after that. Late Lunch with Llamas, Warriors in Winter, and Narwhals on a Sunny Night. Uh, just some different ones um, that I thought we might get to based on, like, the fact that we're doing World Geography this year. Um... So we have been, we've read a handful of the Magic Treehouse already that we got, and we've been liking that, um, which is going to bring me to this next series. It's called The Secret Explorers, Adventures with the Secret Explorers. This is a box set. There is another box set, because I think there's eight at this point, and then there is like a spinoff or another series by this author that is very similar. Um, so this one has Jurassic Rescue, Tomb Robbers, Comet Collision, and Lost Whales. And uh, my son already wants to read the space one. I think there's another space one in the other box set. Um, but I got this one because although we are enjoying the Magic Treehouse, I like that they bring in whatever the topic is. Uh, even my oldest was kind of uh he doesn't agree with how the children the brother and the sister act in the magic tree house <laughs> he's like i'm six and the sister in that book is six but she you know the way she acts is always she's just very naive she runs around you know she's always getting herself into trouble basically and uh, my son doesn't doesn't like that she does that. <laughs> and then the older brother, he's eight, I think, in the in the series, you know, is always cautious. He's, you know, the leader of the two. But like, anyway, so while we enjoy what we actually learn about in those books, um, you know, even I'm sort of sick of the same sort of formulaic way in which those books are written. You know, the first chapter is always getting in the treehouse and going wherever they're going to go. You know, there's the exploring, they get into some sort of trouble, and then they get themselves out and they come home. It's the same, I mean, it's the same thing in every in, in every book. And while I do, I'm not not bashing the Magic Treehouse, I, we do enjoy reading them, but it is sort of the same. You, if you read them back to back, it gets really, whew, you have to, you have to break it up, um, I feel like, at least. So with this one, Although I haven't read them yet, um, it's about a group of, it's, okay, let me read the back to you. Four secret, four secret missions, eight explorers, dozens, dozens of close calls, hundreds of amazing facts. Um, join the secret explorers on their first four action-packed adventures, follow along as they use their skills and knowledge to rescue a pot of whales, journey to outer space, confront tomb robbers in ancient Egypt, and save a dinosaur egg from a pack of hungry, hungry predators. So this is giving me a little bit of like um, Octonaut vibes. <laughs> if your kids have watched that show on Netflix, I, my kids really like that. And I like that show because while there is like the cast of eight, the Octonauts, um, they each have their specialty. And that's kind of the feeling I'm getting from this. It's like a group of kids, but they're really knowledgeable in whatever their specialty is. And it seems like... Um, when I've read the back of the, the actual books themselves, that there's like two of them, maybe in each book that it really centers around wherever they're going or whatever the adventure is. And um, they're more they're more like scientists than kids who have no idea whatever it is they're getting themselves into. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. I'm, I hope that's a little more where this one's gonna go instead of kind of what happens in the Magic Treehouse, but I will let you know after we read at least a book or two. Okay, the next couple things I got, uh, some box sets. 
Ralph Mouse collection and Henry and Ribsy box set. Um, so we have, you know, the three books from this collection. <laughs> Mouse and the Motorcycle, Runaway, Runaway, Runaway Ralph and Ralph S. Mouse. Um, you know, these are kind of classics. I, I don't remember reading these, but I feel like I've at least read like the first one in each of these when I was growing up. Um, same with this set. We have Ribsy, Henry and Ribsy, and Henry Huggins. I think I think like the first one of each uh, collection I have read as a kid at some point, or it was read to me. Okay, next we have the one and only Ivan. I'm looking forward to this. It looks to be written a little differently than a normal chapter book, so I'm really hoping that it um, works for us. Um, and then of course, I'd like to watch the movie, <laughs> of course, on Disney Plus. And I know there's also a whole um, series with this one. Um, let's pull out these ones next. So <clears throat> these are all from the same author, Kate D. Camillo, um, Flora and Ulysses, Tale of Despero, and um, the Miraculous Journey of Edward Tulane. These are all, I don't, I feel like these are all sort of classics in and of their own right. She also wrote Because of Winn-Dixie, which I do remember reading growing up. That was a classic. But um, yeah, I picked up a bunch of her books as well because they, you know, they're, they're, they're gonna be good. I know my kids are gonna like them. And they're all about animals, which we are also really into that stage right now. Um, this one's also a movie, or is it a show? A movie on Disney Plus as well. Also, just realized this is also by her. She wrote these recently. These Mercy Watson books. Um, Six Pigtails, so I got the set. Um, they are not quite chapter books though. They might, I'm thinking that I might have my son read these to me. They're a little more... They're not quite picture books. They're sort of like early reader chapter books, I would say. Um, I mean, some of the words maybe my son won't know, but he surprises me with how much he can actually read. So I think, I think this might fall into the category of he's going to read these to me. Um, but these look really cute. Uh, Mercy Watson to the rescue. Mercy Watson goes for a ride. Mercy Watson fights crime. Princess in Disguise, Thinks Like a Pig, Something Wonky This Way Comes. <laughs> okay, so anyway, there's six of those. So just have a couple more. Um, in my last book haul, I shared that I got the first book in the Heartwood Hotel series. So you know what? I just picked up the rest. Okay, so I have number two, three, and four, uh, The Greatest Gift, Better Together, and Home Again. So I picked all of those up. These look really cute. I've read some amazing reviews on these, um, just about animals and in the tree community. I mean, they, they just look really sweet. So I think we're gonna enjoy those at some point this year. These next two, there is another one of these, and I think the other one's called A Horse Named Sky, but I have A Wolf Called Wander, and um, Whale of the Wild. And these are actually based on like a real, like this wolf one is based on a real wolf. Um, so the back of the book says, Swift, a wild wolf cub, lives with his pack in the mountains. When a rival pack attacks, Swift and his family scatter, and he sets out on an incredible journey through dense forests into barren wilderness and across flowing water. Uh, the trip is dangerous and full of peril. And okay, and then it says, will he find the courage to survive and will he ever find a place to call home? And it says, A Wolf Called Wander is based on the extraordinary true story of a wolf named OR7 and often called Journey, a wild wolf who traveled a remarkable a thousand miles across the Pacific Northwest. So it's kind of based on a true story, inspired by a true animal, a real thing. Same thing with this one. Um, Vega, a young orca whale lives with her pod when dangerous, when a double tragedy strikes her family in Vega and her little brother, uh, so she and her brother get separated from everyone and she has to basically protect him and find her way home. So Whale of the Wild is inspired by the endangered orcas 
in the Pacific Northwest. These animals uh, face global warming, pollution, and starvation in their fight for survival. So based on real whales. And then, like I said, there's another one that I saw, but it's only available in a hardcover and I kind of like to match, you know? <laughs> uh, but the other one I think is called A Horse Named Sky. That's probably based on a real horse somewhere. And then um, possibly another one coming soon. I don't know. But these look, those look really nice. Um, my kids are really enjoying either like animal story type books, adventure type books, or um, kind of like the mission, the mission ones. They really like to watch Paw Patrol, Octonauts, all these things um, where there's really like a mission to be had and something to be done. So we've been really enjoying books that are like that too. So that is it for this book haul. I hope you guys liked it and game haul. I did get some games, didn't I? Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. I uh, would love to know if you have read any of these books in particular or if you have any suggestions for my kids ages um, I have a six a four a six and a four year old and uh, you know a little baby so um, we're just really dipping our toes into read alouds at this point so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below like I said if you have any other books to share and I will see you guys all in the next video real soon bye